Hey everyone, Mo here, and before the video begins, I just want to let you guys know that my schedule has opened up for me to do coaching again. So if you're interested in private one-on-one -on -one coaching for me to help you, whether you're a newer player and you want to excel at the game very quickly and learn the fundamentals without developing any bad habits early, or if you're an experienced player who's already maybe platinum or diamond in your top 1%, but you need some help filling in the gap to get you to that 0.01% to make you just some of the best of the best, then hit me up on Discord and I can get you in some private one-on-one -on -one coaching lessons to help you polish up any skills you want to refine and help you learn all of the secrets to becoming a top player. That's it. I hope you enjoy the video. You know, seasonal, I just want to show up and have fun, or I just want my, like, card back. And then you hit that, like, you're like, oh, I won, that's cool. Oh, I'm 2-0, that's cool. I'm 3-0, you know, that's kind of whatever. I got lucky, I guess. 4-0, wow. And then you can taste the 5-0, and you didn't realize you wanted that 5-0 until you hit that 4-0, and you're like, I want that 5-0 type thing. Well, yeah, it's kind of like that, you know? And then you lose the fifth game because you're nervous? Yeah, basically. I probably should have blocked that because this is going to be a guaranteed proc again next turn, which makes me fucking sad. This forces them to have exactly Grenadier here, which they don't play, so we're big chilling for this five damage. How is seasonal? Did you win? Yeah, I won the whole thing. I'm $10,000 richer now. They, they even canceled day two next week. They said, fuck it, we're just going to give it to Mo. No, I lost my first round. We'll block and just hope he doesn't play Make It Rain. Yeah, I lost my first round and I just didn't play after that. So as long as he doesn't go like play one mana 3-3, three, three, play one mana 3-3, three, three, we're pretty happy. If he just goes like, oh no, oh no. Don't have a second one. Oh no! And parlay! Oh, monkey? Oh, that doesn't matter. Overall, this is fine because we still have uh, Brothers Bond, so. Lost first round, unfollows? Wait, 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 we can talk about it. Well, Brothers Bond up to trade our two ones into this uh, monk, into these three threes. We can also just try and push, like, damage. So let's put some to 12. We can put them to 10. And we have 3, 6, 10. That makes me pretty happy. I don't want to trigger plunder for him yet. Because I don't want him to get even more, like, nasty tr uh, pl plunder triggers. So I want him to get this plunder trigger at the very end of turn. You know? Like, he's going to get the plunder trigger for this round for, like, his Sedge 1 and his Gangplank, sure. But I don't want him to get the plunder trigger right now and then be able to play all of his plunder cards in his hand. Does that make sense, chat? You get me? I've been completing all the challenges since an hour. This sucks, kinda. <laughs> what do you mean, completing all the challenges? I played League of Legends and Prime League a few years ago. I played so much worse than regular games. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't actually do really many of the challenges. Dynamite, but I know that there are like really good ways to get the, uh, to get XP and stuff. So here, we'll say fuck it. We'll just go in with this Nox and Fervor. Probably not. Because we only go to 9. We'll just block and then go Decimate, Decimate. And probably not not lose. So we'll just block here to try and not die. And then this is the point where we burn him out. So this is exactly how I said the games will play out. I essentially did, you know, the early damage with my units here. And then the last eight damage, I'm just going to... Or what was it? The last, like, ten damage, I just went, like, dec decimate, decimate fervor. And that's just how these games play out. You get in with your early unit damage. You deal damage with your units early. And then you just use your burn spells to finish off the game. So it's exactly how I called it. And that's exactly how it plays out. 
and we just go boom and that's how it do Okay, so we're up against a Demacia Ionia style deck. So this curve is basically perfect. Uh, we're attacking on evens, which is really nice. Uh, we're going to keep this one drop because we have the two mana elusive or fearsome. This is what I was telling you guys about the curve priority. Since we had the two mana uh, fearsome unit, we can go ahead and keep the one drop. It's a three of clout field. Sure, sounds good, man. So we can go ahead and just pass. We don't need to take this block. We'll let it trade later on, but still get our one damage for attacking in. The only way that play can really bite us in the, in the ass is if he ends up having like a sharp sight right here and he uses this to sharp sight it up to block our Elise. Even then, that's still not that bad because this gets in for a decent amount of damage. So we swing. He has the Battlesmith. So this is very much just full on elites. Um, it'd be ideal if he blocks the 1-1 one -one with the Battlesmith. That way we can just pop off an Unspeakable Horror on this next turn. And we'll be pretty happy. So we say okay. And now we can go ahead and just unspeakable horror this. Ooh, that's a big boy. So let's go ahead and pass. I, yeah, let's go ahead and just unspeakable this. We don't want him to get any more value. Like, we don't want to deal with a 3-3... Three, three, a 3-3 three, three arp... A uh, 3-3 three, three tough unit or anything like that. This is very much just like our opponent's preparing for his Jarvan the fourth deck. Yeah, I agree. For those of you that don't know, I'm currently live on Twitch recording this video. So if you ever want access to these videos live before everyone else, make sure to go over and check out my Twitch channel. So I'm going to start off with Skitter because I have mana for Brothers Bond. If he doesn't play exactly like Bannerman here, yeah, he can only block one thing. We say fuck it. We full send here. We're going to Brothers Bond up the Skitterer and the 1-1. One, one. So the 1-1 one, one trades with this 2-3 and our Skitterer hits him in the face for 5. So worst case scenario here is he single combats the Cythria over to our Skitterer. That would make me fairly sad. So we'll go ahead and do this. Try and get our damage in. And then even if he does single over, at least now we have a, to keep a 3-1 in our hand and we're pretty happy. Yep, so there's the single. We say, sure, buddy. We still have a 3-1. Um, unfortunately, we did not get enough unit damage across yet, I don't believe. So if he does something like play a big-ass Garen here, I don't really know how I'm going to deal with it. Like, I'm going to have to trade a whole bunch of units for this now, and it's going to make me very sad. So I guess we're just going to horror. And then we're going to have to, like three for one ourselves to get rid of this five four which feels really bad he passes we'll pass so let's see what we get here off of this talking shadows looks like we got a horror let's go ahead and play the horror and we have enough mana to play second horror and fervor so again we're just hoping our opponent doesn't have like even more units oh that's not good Plays a barrier it up unit. We're going to be very, very sad. Barriered sit three. Okay. Uh, we'll just decimate then. We have 10 points worth of damage in our hand. So we really need to get some damage across. We could horror this. And we'll swing for guaranteed six. Put them to 11. And then we're one damage off lethal. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're just going to full swing. And yes, we're going to lose two of our units in a very bad trade. But the point is, like I said in the video, you have to maximize your damage with your units. So that way you can win with your spells later on. So now we put them to a point to where we have lethal with these. So we just need to draw literally like one more point of damage somewhere. Whether let's um, like stalking shadows into doom beast or it's an unspeakable horror or another burn spell. We will be very happy. The only thing we have to really, really look out for is multiple single combats from our opponent negating our knocks and fervors. So there's a bannerman. Yeah, man, we say, okay, we stalking shadows, look for a doom beast. 
Wow, we only hit one unit and it was not even a good one. So that's unfortunate. We'll play the Fearsome Precious Pet here to block the Ocetria. And we are hoping he plays another unit so that way he goes under single combat mana. Sure, so we can just do some stuff like this. And we'll go ahead and just fervor that to face. Like, it would have been better if this was even, like, a Saboteur. Because then at least Saboteur can attack for one damage, you, you know? So here, we'll go ahead and pass. See if we can bait him into playing a Relentless Pursuit. Okay, so he drew a card. That's not very good. Uh, we are going to Precious Pet. And we're just going to go ahead and Nox and Fervor now while he has no, no mana. Um, no, he has no mana to single combat us or something like that. And this way, if we do end up drawing a Doom Beast, we'll win with Decimate into Doom Beast or something like that. So let's go ahead and Decimate. And so now we lose to our Rally. And we just kind of have to hope he doesn't have it. I mean, he didn't have the Rally last turn, or at least he opted not to play it. So we just have to hope he doesn't have the Rally. There's Battlesmith. We'll play Elise. And this is very, very close. This is a very close game. And by that, I mean this game is over. Unless we top deck exactly third Nox and Fervor. Or uh, Unspeakable Horror. So, some people chat. Let me give you guys, let me guys give you guys some life advice. Some people are just strictly built different. And I am definitely one of those people. There's a reason you watch me, and it's for moments like that. But realistically, um, we could have drawn, like, a lot of stuff right there. Like, if he didn't have second to three also, we could have... He didn't have a lethal open. We could have drawn a lot of stuff for lethal there. Also, we could have... Uh, instead of drawing the Elise, I mean, we could have drawn, like... Uh, essentially, it was more just like the Doom Beast. We could have drawn Decimate. We also whiffed, or not whiffed, but the Stalking Shadows was really bad. It only hit one unit, and the one unit it hit was like the worst possible unit. Like it didn't even hit a Saboteur to guarantee lethal and stuff like that. So uh, we do. We ended up drawing pretty poorly towards the end there, but we did. That was a really good way to show you guys how to maximize your damage with your units, even though that looked like a really bad attack. It was a good way to make sure you do the math with the burn in your hand and the units in play to guarantee you get the most amount of damage possible. If we wouldn't have attacked that turn, we would have never gotten that much damage through with our units, and we there is no possible way we would have we would have won the game. Because as you saw, we literally needed every single point of damage possible to win that game. So that's why you have to min-max your damage like that. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the games. I hope you guys enjoyed the deck guide. If you didn't watch the complete deck guide for spiders, make sure to click the link in the description below so that way you can learn all the ins and outs of those decks, the different mulligans, the different curse, stuff like that. Make sure to subscribe because that'll uh, help with the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment so that way you I know what video you want me to make in the future, whether it's a deck guide or a gameplay guide, something like that. Head over to my Twitch channel so you can join these idiots out here spamming the smork emote in my chat. And I'll see you guys in the next video.